Did anyone ever go to see the bowls at the Waterloo? Bit sad to see it now, isn't it? Flats in Blackpool. A lot of them look like they've been forgotten about. Oh, look at that there. American, American truck. It's a monster, that, isn't it? Ely Agnes. These are the climbing towers that I have never, ever seen in use. This is a slightly smaller one. Yeah, so this is George Bancroft Park, everyone. There you go, 2006 was when this park opened. Oh my goodness, look at that door there. It's like someone's kicked it in as well, look, wow. What the hell? Look at this, look at that, oh my goodness. It can't be good for these people that live in these flats to have to look out the window. And look at that. What a bloody mess. Say nothing. Welcome to another video, The Walk on the Wild Side, and I am here in Blackpool. I'm on the border between South Shore and Central, so I'm actually stood on St Anne's Road, the junction here with Waterloo Road. If I go that way, I get into Central FY1. So what I want to do in this video is I want to take a little walk around this area. I want to walk towards the promenade, actually. And I want to see if I can take you down some streets that I haven't been down uh, before. So we'll make our way to the promenade. Oh, can you see the tower? Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, it's kicking up in Blackpool. So I'm looking south down St Anne's Road at the moment, that way to the airport. But I, I tell you what I want to do, I want to go this way, that's the Waterloo music bar just over there. The Waterloo, really, really popular venue by the way. If you get a chance to go to, the, to see a gig there, go and see it, yeah. And also the Waterloo, the pub, was home of Crown Green Bowls. Yes it was, but unfortunately, the bowling has, uh, well, it's fallen by the wayside, I'm afraid. I think they still play bowls, don't they? I think they do, yeah. But it's not as big as what it used to be. But this place here used to be the Wembley. Oh, oh my goodness. Another one. Oh, I just have that effect, don't I? But if you have a sneaky look through here, can you see? Look at that there, that is the Wembley, or was the Wembley, of Crown Green Bowls. Can it ever come back to the Waterloo? Well, we can only hope, can't we? So I'm just heading down Central Drive now, or should I say up Central Drive. Look at this wall as well, look at that. Look at that wall, that is amazing. The building of that wall there, the Accrington Brick, I think it's Accrington Brick. And it's also got some nice iron work on the top as well. Uh, it has been tagged. Look, there you go. We'll have a sneaky look over the wall, shall we? So what can you see over here? Another angle? Yeah. Did anyone ever go to see the bowls at the Waterloo? Bit sad to see it now, isn't it? You know, it's funny to see a part of Central Drive that isn't really that uh, rough looking. We've got a church here called the Holy Cross. Let's have a look in there, shall we? Do not walk on the wall, it is liable to collapse. Well, uh, seems pretty well kept in here. Apart from this side here, where I think it could do with a bit of a mold. Maybe they're leaving it to grow along for nature, what do you think? Yeah, that's going to take a bit of cutting, that, isn't it? But anyway, that's a little look at the Holy Cross Church. And I'm going to make my way along this part of Central Drive, which I haven't shown. I think I have shown it only once before, this part, maybe. But you know what? It's actually a bit different to the other end, isn't it? 
But you know, there's a lot of streets like this in Blackpool that are a bit very contrasty from one side to the other. You get a really nice part of the street, and if you walk right to the other end, it turns completely the opposite way. And Lytham Road is one of those. It's a good example, Lytham Road, yeah. Yeah, this is Central Drive, yeah. Can you believe it? I'm going to turn left up here down this street and I'm going to make my way through the park. George Bancroft Park, it's Blackpool's, I think it's Blackpool's newest park. It was created when the, when the landscape or the, the, uh, the old railway sidings. So there you go, one last look at this part of Central Drive. Quite swanky really, isn't it? Yeah. But I'll tell you what though, as soon as you head up there and you get past the Bloomfield Road Junction, uh, yes, it uh, starts to change quite drastically. Anyway, I'm going to head down this road here. This is Barron Road. Barron Road. Seems pretty quiet down here actually. You do get quite a lot of people parking around here when the football's on all around here, but it's permit only down here. So they've had the permit only parking to stop all the football crowd taking up all the spaces on match days when Blackpool are playing at home. That's quite a nice looking property over there, isn't it? It is flat, but uh, seems quite well kept, doesn't it? This is more than you can say for a lot of flats in Blackpool. A lot of them look like they've been forgotten about. I'm just crossing over Savile Road. This is Savile Road. Football ground that way. And that way heads back to Waterloo Road. But I'm going to carry... Oh, look at that there. American, American truck. Let's have a look down the back alley. Oh, the gate's open. Absolutely, it's quite a tidy alley that, doesn't it? All of Blackpool's alleys have gates. Let's have a look down the other one. Pretty clear, actually. What do you think? There is a bit of rubbish there, but you're always going to get it, aren't you? And the gate's open. I wonder why the gate's open. Well, that's the thing, you see. That's why they put the gates in. The council put the gates in to stop people dumping but it still happens now this road here is called St Helia's Road they do actually have trees on here you know yeah there's a, there's a few trees on this road there's one down there I can see and as I look that way towards the football ground I can see another tree up there so yeah they actually have trees on this road I think I need to go this way to get to the park. Anyone want any roof tiles? I'll tell you what, these Ely Agnes's really can grow. Look at that there. It's a monster, that, isn't it? Ely Agnes. Wants a bit of a prune, that does. So, Let's head down here, shall we? To the right. Stansfield Street. So this road here leads into this park here. And I must mention the time, it's about half past six on a Thursday evening. So this road here is called Stansfield Street. Seagulls have been picking up the bin bags. That road there is called Westbourne and it's another road that takes you back to Waterloo Road. And as you can see we've got houses on one side and on the other side we've got a bit of greenery. So this is George Bancroft Park that we're coming into now. And I have been in here before and I've mentioned 
a few times that they've got climbing towers actually the grass is getting ready for cutting look not too bad actually there's a uh, basketball and all weather court over there see some kids playing in there these are the climbing towers that I have never ever seen in use look at that there look there's one there and there's one this way that's a this is a slightly smaller one yeah so this is George Bancroft Park everyone I have been in here before but we're getting a proper look now and there's the stone there look George Bancroft he was uh, must have been a mayor was he I know he was a council leader at one time there you go 2006 was when this park opened yeah so it's uh, about 18 years old but I don't know what the deal is with these climbing towers why maybe I've just missed them I don't know let me know in the comments if you've ever seen anybody on these climbing towers that's a base camp there that must be where all the, the rigging gear is maybe I've just missed them let's have a little look up here because this is uh, I'll tell you what no I'll tell you what let's, I'll just show you quickly up here I won't I won't go up here but there is the Blackpool Gateway Academy is that um, is that a primary school I don't know but this park goes all the way up to Bloomfield Road it goes all the way to the football ground and the travel lodge you might be able to see the travel lodge there in the distance you can also see Blackpool Tower as well I can hear sirens again I'm going to head across the road here Seasiders way to the other side so we'll leave George Bancroft Park behind and I'm going to head across Seasiders way here the Pelican crossing is just beeping for me there right we're now on the other side more greenery look at this well this is where the the, the, the car parts are they've got like separate more sirens separate car parks here so just the other side of here is where the the railway comes up to it's uh, Blackpool South is just over the bridge there I've shown that a few times so here's a little look at the, the car park we've got these uh, seats here that bin looks like it's been set on fire now then uh, what's happened to the uh, the pay meter looks like it's been vandalized look at that there look it looks a bit like someone has tried to kick it in or set it on fire or something Bloody hell. let's head up this road here I don't know what this road is actually so I'm heading towards Slitham Road now oh my goodness look at that door there it's not sitting right that is it it's like someone's kicked it in as well look wow what the hell they have basements around here look at these grills here does that mean they've got basements I've never noticed them before wow anyway as I head up this way I can see the Albert pub straight ahead it's actually got a bit of a reputation the Albert yeah for being a little bit a little bit a uh, little bit rough so I could just smell cannabis then I've just got a whiff of cannabis but there's the Albert there look we're now on Lytham Road I've now been down here a few times haven't I and this is the uh, the not so pretty part of Lytham Road although we do get a good view of the tower down that way look at that right let's see if I can get across the road it's quite busy 
Hopefully won't run into any beer monsters. I've dodged the owl, but I want to head down this road here. It's called Shore Road. Let's head down here, shall we? Towards the promenade. We've got a few guest houses and hotels down here. Well, there are some properties that look a little bit worse for wear. There's a church over there. Now that church is called the Bible Pattern Church. Bible Pattern Church. Now if you've ever been to Blackpool South, you might see on the train, if you look out the window when you pull up at the station, an advert on the roof, or I think it's on the back of a building, and it says, the blood of Jesus can wash you of all sins, or something similar to that, and that corresponds to this church right here, yeah? There you go. It's a bit gory, isn't it? The blood of Jesus will wash you of all your sins. Well, that's one way to get rid of rubbish. Just chuck it all in a big, massive wheelie bin. What do you reckon? Anyway, there's another street that comes off here. It's called Miller Street. Look at that there. Miller Street. It's a dead end. We've got a, is that a detached house there? That's interesting, isn't it? That house there, look. Obviously it's turned into flats now, but it looks like it used to be part of another property, can you see? Which was knocked down for these flats here. Got another street here, look, Royal Street, check it out. Look at that. This is a street. Wow. I wonder what's down here. What's around the corner? I want to have a little look. Oh, it's gated off. You can't go any further. So there's just one property down there. Bit of rubbish here in this garden. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, I'll tell you what. It can't be good for these people that live in these flats to have to look out the window. And look at that! Wow! What a bloody mess! Oh my goodness! And that's not the only one, by the way. There's plenty of properties in Blackpool that are, are like that, you know. I'm now coming out onto Bolton Street. This is Bolton Street. It's basically the back alley of the promenade. I can hear sirens again. Straight down that way is a pleasure beach. I can see the, the turnaround of the Grand National straight down there. And I'm right behind the old Yates's. There you go, the old Yates's there. It's been closed since, when was it? 2022. It's been closed about two years, something like that. We're almost at the promenade and this is Mother Hubbard's. Hey, you'll have to watch out for a video on Mother Hubbard's. I'll do it separately. I'm going to go into Mother Hubbard's, I'm going to get some fish and chips and uh, we'll see what they're like, shall we? But that'll be a separate video. There you go. But I'm now at the promenade. And this is how Yates's look. What a sad sight. Look at this, folks. Wow. This looks a bit depressing. I did cover it. A while back I showed the mess outside, it's like all the mess on the promenade just ends up in here and it's got nowhere else to go. It's all fenced off but uh, it doesn't stop that rubbish getting in there does it? But that is how Yates's look, what a sad sight, the windows have been broken. Can anything be done for Yates's? Well, I've now made it to the promenade. I'm just going to head across. 
it's pretty quiet down here but I tell you what look at these views oh my goodness just wait till you see these views out just look at that oh I can see the rays coming through the clouds down there towards the sea it looks absolutely epic I can see blue flashing lights up that way towards the central pier is it I can definitely see flashing lights it's kicking off tonight oh there's a tram coming towards me better get off the tracks so I've made it to the promenade and there's a few people knocking around it's usually quiet down this part of Blackpool promenade uh, we've seen some sights along the way some uh, quite nice sights I suppose and some not so nice sights yeah what about that rubbish in that garden over there that's disgusting that isn't it who does that I mean come on who leaves all that rubbish in a in a garden I mean you know what's going on and like I say that's not the only one in Blackpool there'll be plenty more properties like that where people just dump stuff and then forget about it you know I think some people have the mindset that some things are not their problem and uh, I think we've seen some of that in this video but anyway enough about that I just want to show you this now just look at this wow just listen to the sound oh, just look at those rays there wow Say what you want about Blackpool, some people say it's a tip, say it's a dump, but you can't take this away, you cannot take this away from Blackpool. So there you go, that's it for this video, I'm going to head over to Mother Hubbard's now for some fish and chips, so look out for the fish and chip review at Mother Hubbard's in a separate video but there you go what do you think folks i always like to bring you all sides of a blackpool the good and the bad what do you think we've had a little look around the south shore area down some places where i haven't really shown before so i wanted to mix it up a little bit in this video so let me know what you think in the comments and if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one